burn that squash. No oil, no salt, no sugar. In the fall, there's different vegetables such as burnet squash, spaghetti squash, pumpkin, and cabbage. I'm going to show you how to make samosa filling without any oil, sugar, and salt. All spices. Instead of potatoes, I'm going to use burnet squash. It has more nutrition than potatoes. It is in season right now. So it is not going to be raw. It's going to be steam cooked. Raw food is much better, but there's some food that you should eat cooked. I think this should be cooked, but I won't cook it as hard. I would steam it instead of boiling it or sauteing it. So all the food, cooked food, will be steamed. The ingredients are burnet squash. I didn't have lemon, so I am going to use raw apple cider vinegar, coriander, cumin seeds, chili powder, turmeric, garam, samala, ginger, and garlic. And of course, frozen corn and frozen sweet peas. Now let's cut it up and start cooking. skin of the burnet squash. Burnet squash tastes so much better than pumpkin. When it's in season, eat the fruits in season and eat the veggies in season. These vegetables are available and cheap. Now let's steam our burnet squash into the steamer. Once it's done, we'll add all the spices and the corn and peas to make a wonderful, delicious samosa filling. Using burnet squash instead of potatoes. There will be no oil, no salt, and no sugar. Let's cook the Burnet so squash is cooked, so I'm taking it out. We don't need oil, just water. Make sure it doesn't stick. Lower the temperature, make sure it doesn't burn. Add any water necessary so that it won't burn at the bottom. Make add a little water. I'm gonna cover it up and wait a little bit. The corn and peas are softened and it's not frozen anymore so I'm gonna put our spices in there. The cumin, turmeric, chili powder, coriander, garam masala. As for the ginger and garlic I'm gonna put half because I like mine raw. Maybe less half because this should be eaten raw. Garlic and ginger. Stir it up. If you like more spicy, add hot pepper or more of the spice. Some people are either salt or sugar addiction. My problem is sugar. My problem is not salt. So I found out that I should not eat my food too spicy because when I do, I do like spice. But when it's too spicy, then I want to eat a dessert. And my problem is dessert. I cannot never say no to dessert. But salt, I can. So know your weakness and try to stay away from it. So if you have a problem with salt, then put a lot of spices. I do not have a problem with salt. I just need enough spice to get a kick and enjoyment. Okay, I'm gonna cover it up a little bit and wait. It doesn't take long to cook it, so basically it's ready. I didn't have lemon, so I'm putting raw apple cider vinegar. Just a little bit, not much. Tang. Okay. That's it. Taste it. If you want more spice, then add some more spice. Good enough. Enough spicy for me. Add this in there, we'll dilute it. There you go. See how easy it is to make burnet squash samosa filling. Much more healthy. No oil, no salt, no sugar. Burnet squash has more nutrition than potatoes. There, it's done. Let's plate it. There you go. When the weather becomes colder, our fruits and veggies change. Our body desires different types of food. In the summer, we want 
more liquid. In the winter, we want solid food, less liquid, such as butternut squash and cabbage. I am not 100% raw. It is difficult to be raw, especially in the cold season. In winter, I am about 80% raw. Sometimes I enjoy spicy food, such as samosa filling. Eating raw cabbage is not very good, but when you combine it with spicy foods, such as samosa filling with butternut squash, it is delicious. The spice in there gives a great flavor for the cabbage, and the cabbage is very nutritious only when it is raw, not cooked. I will do another video explain to you why raw is the best. Because I am a reformed eater. I've gone to meat, processed, to vegetarian, cooked food, now to raw. I am not 100% raw, but 80% plus in the winter. And sometimes in the summer, I can be 100% raw. Winter is a different story. Mm -hmm.